Hello all. Uh, today we will learn about a very important pathway. This pathway is called the cerebrocerebellar pathway as you can see here. Okay, cerebrocerebellar pathway. Uh, but the name is actually a misnomer. It is actually not cerebrocerebellar. It is uh, cerebropontocerebellar, also called as corticopontocerebellar. Okay, that is the proper name. Okay. Because cerebrum is not directly connected to the cerebellum, it is always going through the pons. Okay, so let us have a look at this picture. Uh, this is an outline that I will uh, repeatedly use when I talk about cerebral or or brain circuits. Okay, uh, so here these two large things that you see here are the cerebral hemispheres. Uh, I, I will say that this is the right side cerebral hemispheres in this discussion. This is the left side cerebral hemisphere. And uh, between that, you have corpus callosum here, you'll have ventricle. I'm, I'm not going into those details now. So I'll just clear that off. Uh, I'll just say that this is the right side and this is left side. Okay. Now here in the center, okay, this much part, that is the brainstem. Okay. Brainstem contains three parts. As you know, above you have the midbrain. This is called the midbrain. In uh, in the middle, you have the pons and below you have the medulla. And uh, now connected to the midbrain, pons and medulla, behind it actually, you have the cerebellum. So uh, this is the cerebellar hemispheres. This is the right-sided cerebellar hemisphere. Okay, I'll write CE, cerebellar hemisphere. And this is the left-sided cerebellar hemisphere. Okay. Uh, so these are cerebral hemispheres. These are cerebellar hemispheres. The sides are all important in this discussion. That's why I'm spending a couple of minutes over here. All right. Now I'll clear this off and make the canvas ready for the uh, showing the circuits now. Okay. So first I'll draw uh, in the cerebral cortex. As you know, cerebral cortex is the outer uh, gray matter that you see in the cerebrum. So in the cerebral cortex, you have a cell body of a neuron. Okay, from that cell body, you are seeing an axon that is projecting downwards into the white matter. If you want specific names, I'll say that this is the corona radiator. This is the internal capsule. Okay, and this descends down through the cross cerebri of the midbrain and it descends down into the pons. It ends in the basilar part of the pons. Okay, that is the uh, tracing of this first neuron. This neuron is called the corticopontine neuron. I'm sorry for the spelling. This is called corticopontine neuron because the name is very simple. It is arising from the cerebral cortex, it descending down through the white matter, finally ends in the basilar part of the pons. So it is called corticopontine fibers. Now this group of fibers is a large group of, it's a huge population of fibers. Uh, the estimates are that this is the number of corticopontine fibers is approximately 20 million, 20 million fibers. If you compare, if you compare this with, okay, if you make a comparison with a pyramidal tract, you know that pyramidal tract is the, one of the most important tracts in the brain. If you compare with pyramidal tract, it is only 1 million. So it is almost 20, uh, 20 times more massive projection in the brain. Okay, and uh, this pathway uh, arises from the cortex. This is a 2D picture to simplify the circuit. Actually, the in reality, what you're seeing is frontal lobe from the parietal lobe, from the temporal lobe and from the occipital lobe, fibers are descending down into the pons. That's why corticopontine fibers actually have multiple subgroups. You have frontopontine, uh, parietopontine, occipitopontine and temporopontine all these groups are there okay so that's why i told you it's a massive projection so that massive projection comes and ends here now from here i'm going to draw the next neuron to complete the you know the corticoponto cerebellar fiber so the next neuron here you have the pontine nucleus again nucleus means a collection of cell bodies so this is the next neuron cell body from here the axon will cross the midline this is a very very important phenomenon that is occurring it will cross the midline and project onto the opposite side cerebellar hemisphere which means that uh, suppose this is the right sided cerebral cortex okay that is projecting onto the right sided pontine nuclei and from the pontine nuclei the ponto cerebellar fibers are crossing the midline this is the midline it is crossing the midline onto the left sided cerebellum so the information from the right side of the cerebrum is descending down reaching the pons and from the pons it is projecting to the contralateral cerebellum this is a very very important point so the cerebro cerebellar circuit is a crossed projection from the right side cerebrum information uh, is given 
through a relay in the pontine nuclei of the same side and from there it is projecting onto the opposite side cerebellar hemisphere okay this is called the second group of fiber is called the ponto cerebellar fiber the ponto cerebellar fiber it's also called the transverse pontine fibers because you will see these fibers as grooves in the front of the uh, pons towards the cerebellum now this is going through through this part okay this part is called the middle cerebellar peduncle middle cerebellar peduncle is connecting the pons in front to the cerebellum cerebellar hemispheres behind so in the middle cerebellar hemisphere you have these fibers this massive ponto cerebellar fibers i told you the number it is one of the largest fiber groups in the brain and this massive ponto cerebellar fibers are going through the uh, middle cerebellar peduncle okay into projecting onto the opposite side uh, cerebellum this is very important because uh, you know that uh, the right side of the cerebrum is controlling is uh, uh, you know concerned with the movements of the left side of the body okay correct to the left side of the body uh, suppose this is the body it is concerned with movements of the left side okay but for the left side movements are concerned it, uh, the, it is coordinated all the coordinating functions movement coordination is one of the functions of cerebellum that is done by the same sided cerebellar hemisphere so it is often called that uh, if you can often remember that the cerebrum is kind of uh, interested in contralateral things but the cerebellum is interested in ipsilateral things okay so you have a lesion in the cerebellar hemisphere left to cerebellar hemisphere the cerebellar signs will be seen on the same side of the body okay you have a right cortical cerebral uh, lesion a, a stroke in the cerebrum on the right side then the deficits will be found on the left side of the way it will be contralateral cerebral effects uh, deficits will be found on the contralateral side of the body uh, cerebellar deficits will be seen on the ipsilateral side of the body this re reason one, one of the reasons for this is this crossed projection okay now let me have a, a look at a 3d uh, model of the brain now let us uh, you can see that yeah i'll stop this and I'll, let me just label this you know that this is the frontal lobe this is the parietal oh, i'm sorry this is the parietal lobe this is the occipital lobe and this is the temporal lobe so from here all massive fibers are descending down okay this is all the uh, descending down fibers now let me just uh, rotate this again okay rotate this again and kind of yeah yeah i'll pause over here i'll say that from here you have the first neuron i told you about that first neuron uh, that is the cortico descending down okay to the white matter it is coming through the crust cerebri and projecting onto the same side pontine nuclei okay the, this is the pons this massive bulge that you see in the middle of the brain stem is the pons so that is the pontine nuclei from the pontine nuclei i'm going to draw the next neuron this neuron begins from here it crosses the midline and it projects onto the opposite side cerebellar hemisphere these transverse grooves that you see here are all due to pondo cerebellar fibers and as i so told before this is the middle cerebellar peduncle the middle cerebellar peduncle is containing the transversely running pondo cerebellar fibers okay uh, this is a very important tract in the body and many things happen, many lesions that happen in the basilar part of the pons, in the middle cerebellar peduncle, in the cerebellum, in the cortex uh, can have effects in this cortico-ponto-cerebellar pathway. Okay, so thank you.